Developing this afternoon, Chicago's top cop says 59 gun shell casings were found after the shooting of a rapper right outside the Cook County Jail. Superintendent Brown using this case and that situation as a reason to push for keeping violent offenders in jail. Elizabeth Matthews is live at CPD headquarters with more. Elizabeth. Sally and Anthony, the superintendent, showing his shock and dismay that this violent repeat offender was let out of jail this weekend. The 31-year-old did have to post bond, and as a condition of posting that bond, was, was going to have to be on electronic monitoring. But Superintendent David Brown says that is simply not enough. Leon Leandre Sylvester was released from jail Saturday night and was targeted, fatally shot right outside of the Cook County Jail. Police say there were 59 shell casings on scene. Two women were also wounded, though not seriously. The Chicago rapper was released after posting a $5,000 bond with a condition that he would be on electronic monitoring yet again. He was in jail for violating his bond following several weapons, assault, and habitual criminal charges. All these prior arrests, these serious felonies, these very violent crimes didn't keep him in jail. And it created an unsafe environment for others to put him on electronic monitoring. So we're told there are about 3,500 people currently on electronic monitoring here in Cook County. So who decides who's on electronic monitoring? Well, you ask the police, you ask Cook County Sheriff, the state's attorney, the judge's office, and you kind of get the runaround. A source does tell us that it's up to the prosecutors, the state's attorney's office in court to go to the judge and make those recommendations. Then ultimately it is the judge who decides. Live outside CPD headquarters, Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32 Chicago.